Hey everybody, so this is another update from Nimic. Today I have Bono, who is yes. the Hello. mathematician wizard in Nimic, something like that. <laughs> and we have of course Sebastian also Hi. with us. He's doing all the bug squeezing and hunting and, and gathering, right? Yeah, lots of bug, <laughs> bug hunting yeah. and so fixing. We can, so we can get some nice updates and uh, we are all here today because together because we are in a hackathon right now and working intensively on testnet 2.0 that actually is already like the topic right to you yeah uh, what's the news about testnet? Back slash. yeah okay so testnet um we are very hard at work to get testnet uh, out mm. and um we obviously we have our client uh, and it is running it's also syncing uh, to most of the time um, there's still some issues to be ironed out for sure. It's it's not ready yet to be deployed and uh, not ready for sort of a production environment. Um, but we are closing in by the day. Um, it is actually going pretty fine, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and f obviously the length of the list of bugs that can be found is unknown. But uh, every every single one that we find and fix uh, shortens that list at the very least and um, I do think that uh, we are making pretty good progress in that regard so the uh, chain is running now basically you don't the have chain the is running uh -huh. the chain is running uh, right. you can also to to the chain that is already running you can connect a, uh, another client which will then perform uh, history sync and that fails sometimes still unfortunately but most of the time it does yeah. work um but as i said i mean there is still issues to be ironed out and uh, it's not it's not ready yet um mm. but it's actually already performing Do we actually quite plan to keep releasing also small versions to the developers sometimes or before we launch the testnet so we do have the lab test uh thing that we announced mm -hmm. in our community forums um mm -hmm. that one is being updated by Zuren occasionally like every right. every other week maybe or so okay. Um, which gives the developers the opportunity to uh, locally run a setup where they can uh, test their integrations against. Oh. Uh, so that's mm -hmm. that's already quite uh, handy. So I, that's I already existing. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, it runs in a Docker setup where you have like four nodes uh, mm -hmm. producing your chain and can interact with it uh, via RPC client. So it's actually quite. Uh, I want to say it's quite good. Um, but ob for obvious reasons, it's not the real deal because mm. it uh, runs in a very confined environment, uh, has very, um, basically has no real life uh, uh, scenario to it, but it's, it's more of a lab uh, setup. But it helps to build stuff, right? I definitely, think some definitely. Staking yeah, pool developers are yeah, yeah. working with it and yeah, this yeah, is yeah, sweet, yeah. good to know, right? Yeah. So far ahead. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's all what's aiming towards 2.0 so maybe also in your direction um state of 2.0 what do you think um what are the things that are yeah. on the roadmap how's it going well we are quite close to having a full client running as Sebastian said mm -hmm. um the main things that are missing right now is uh, the staking contracts it needs a bit of well love basically um, <laughs> Because our, our account tree, our state tree before mm -hmm. this was just for this small account, right? Uh, fix piece sizes. Ah, yeah, right. yeah mm -hmm. exactly. And the second contract is basically a smart contract. It's a big thing with variable size mm -hmm. and a big size also. Um, so the way it was working this, before is that you just get the entire staking contract at one point and it can get big. So it's not ideal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we are optimizing that so that you can get just pieces of it. You can mm, just yeah. query like a given validator information or a given mm. staker. Um, so it, we are also changing the account tree for that so it can handle these types of smart contracts more easily, which will make our work in the future a lot easier too. Sounds like one of those things that yeah. we didn't anticipate, right? Yes, uh, we did a bit. <laughs> it's just bit that it isn't that important. It helps performance quite a bit, but uh, you know, it's not critical to work. Uh, it, I mean, it is running on the test not now yeah. with all the count street, yes. and right. it works fine. Beautiful. Right, the setup that we are currently running is uh, running without exactly. those changes yet. Right, mm -hmm. uh, but so yeah, it, right. it does work yeah. without. We just want to release mainnet with a proper way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. a proper optimized way. Exactly. Um, and yeah, so that is missing, but that is 
quite a small component to be mm-hmm. honest. And the other big thing is, I guess, the nano client. The nano client is a big thing for sure. A big uh, thing and a small thing at the same time. Right. Yes. A big thing and a small <laughs> thing at <laughs> the same time. Big thing, it's, yeah. it's, it's true. Um, so for the nano client, mm-hmm. also uh, Wasm is a component of that. Uh, yeah. com- basically, compiling our client to to Wasm to then be able to perform the nano sync in a browser center. Wasm context. for the people that don't know is oh, yeah. it's called web assembly. It's basically assembly is something that runs directly on the su- CPU, very very fast. Uh, and web assembly means that you have something like this, like binary code that runs on a machine but made in the browser so it's in a secure sandbox right. and yes. I guess the fastest thing since uh, I don't know for, for the browser <laughs> for the certainly browser the, the fastest, fastest thing, thing yeah. Yeah. well we only had JavaScript before and that was the only option really Nothing yeah. compared so to this that, is yeah. Yeah. Exactly. orders of my making to faster yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. and I mean the project is done in Rust and Rust does have uh, wasn't targets yeah. for compilation so um, mm-hmm. we have I think looked into it and have sort of a work working prototype mm-hmm. uh, or proof of concept that it actually yeah. does compile stuff that we did. Um, we haven't though like compiled the entire project to Wasm yet. That probably will also require some changes here and there uh, mm-hmm. to make it compatible. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the browser, there's also probably different things that also need to be added. Um, but this and the nano sync then and the nano client uh, are also stuff that that for mainnet is uh, definitely a thing that we want to have um, however for testnet for the first testnet release uh, and the first mm-hmm. couple of iterations of it uh, it's probably not going to be a part of it we yeah. are probably just going to start this with uh, history clients and uh, history yeah. nodes uh, to get this off the ground just to have the blockchain running right. and get the yeah. service just about the nano sync so what is it roughly? Why is it so important? Well, because people can't run a full node whenever they want to connect to the blockchain, basically. Like on a phone, for example, right? Yeah, on a phone, like on no a web way, browser. Right? You know, even in a normal laptop, you don't want your laptop running 24 hours a day mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. just to access the, you know, the blockchain. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, in most blockchains, you do have some type of light client, or you just use like a web wallet or something like that. Mm-hmm. So this is a safer way of doing it. Uh, web wallet means basically that I need an API that I have to trust, right? Yeah, it's just connecting to some like server and just tells you what the blockchain which is. Which is common right? to do, yeah. yeah. So I mean, uh, just recently, not too long ago, the Mina project has launched, right? I mean, yes. we have followed it. it was former called a uh, Coda project, and. Um, they also advertise a lot with saying, ah, oh, you know, we have like such a small blockchain, only 22 kilobytes and, and all this. Uh, mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of cool project, oh. right? They're doing, they've been doing this for cool. a while. Very good research. Yeah. Also, I mean, the proofs are really amazing, right? I mean, you can yeah. prove things you can lock into websites uh, by proving that you are qualified without telling why you are, right? And yes. it's still, it's correct. But, it's and cool. they say they 22 kilobytes to get to their blockchain. Yes. So it will work everywhere. Yeah. How's the, how does the nano sync compare there, actually? Well, it compares quite well in terms of size and performance, but we do have different security models, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, what that does is, that mean? Well, in their <laughs> case, question. Yeah, for, for <laughs> Mina, uh, for Marco, the right, the, all the transactions in the blockchain and everything that happened in the blockchain is condensed into mm. that, uh, to that proof, to that snark. Mm. So if you get that snark, you basically have the same security as a full node, right? Mm. So you you have just verified every signature, every transaction, everything into that. Um, in your case, the that snark only verifies the the headers basically of the chain. Mm-hmm. So you have the same security as a normal light client to that. Mm-hmm. So you don't verify every transaction, just verify the headers. Um, like in Bitcoin, right, you could download the entire transaction and check each transaction, or you could just download the headers, check that the headers are actually correct, and you, you are on the longest chain. So mm-hmm. our snark only proves that. Um, now, the trade-off is that it is a lot quicker to do it uh, just for the headers. Uh, and we can get yeah. a lot more transaction throughput from that, of exactly, course. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think it's one of the huge things that people uh, throw it at... Uh, Mean a little bit yeah. because I heard twenty transactions per second or something in that direction, and they have to work really, really hard to improve that. And I don't know how because it's creating snarks be, is uh, extremely expensive, right? It's very, very expensive. 
Okay. As expensive in terms of it in terms of time and yeah. well, in computation also yeah. yes, it's yeah. not uh, you don't need quite a good computer and some time for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I mean, even for our headers, you know, for a single header with I don't know, we have like five hundred and twelve validators, so we need to verify all those signatures and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, in our case, it takes probably like 10, 12 hours on a normal laptop uh, to to run, right? Produce a proof. Mm -hmm. And they try to do that with all the transactions, every block, so you can see that you know you can't you can't do it very fast. Mm -hmm. um, they do use a lot of optimizations to get it better, but it's just uh, theoretically it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we just prefer to give people the same security as a white client, okay. which is completely acceptable in the vast majority of cases. Um, is that comparable for a normal person, maybe more like me? It's like, yeah. how much less is it? Should I care about? Is it good enough? I mean, well, the main thing is that if you are a full node, right? Yeah, imagine yeah, in, I'm in, I'm in Bitcoin. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. But <laughs> imagine in Bitcoin, all right? And you are a full node. Yeah. If suddenly every miner in the world just becomes malicious right and starts producing wrong blocks and stuff okay. you could cut that you know you'd see that and ah. you'd stop uh, okay. because you know the rules of the blockchain and mm -hmm. you can see every transaction and you can see okay someone is just doing wrong stuff right just creating coins out of nowhere deleting accounts whatever mm -hmm. um, if you are a light client you couldn't see that because you just see the address and see oh, okay most of the hash rates is behind this chain, so this should be the correct chain, and mm -hmm. you can't see the entire state. Um, so the thing is, as long as the majority of the hash rate in Bitcoin is honest, then it's fine to be a light client. You want to okay. be uh, tricked by it. Yeah. Um, in our case, in Albatross, it is a bit better. It is two thirds risk. So as long uh, as long as you don't have two thirds of malicious stakers right so you're fine that sounds like so as long as not everything is already yes. ruined everything is okay which that yeah. is a logical assumption right because if it's more no, than two thirds good. i think we anyway have other problems yeah right? the chain is now yeah basically it's, <laughs> it's oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and the difference basically is how you fail right if there's like some catastrophe catastrophic failure right if you are a full mm -hmm. node you're gonna realize something is going on if you're a light node, you're not going to realize that. But I mean, this, these are really low probability events. Yeah. And to be honest, there is like social yeah. okay, that sounds networks like... and stuff. So mm -hmm. if there's like a big attack, people can get warned by other media. Yeah. Okay. So no, that sounds not like really, uh, Yeah. Uh, but you know, there are trade offs. So okay. it all depends. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now that we are already looking a little bit into the speculation and into the details. Yeah. Now that I have you also here, what do you think, I mean, will happen, there's 2.0 coming and maybe afterwards, because you, yeah. as I know, are looking more into research together with Pascal, well, right? Yeah. So when when people are working on a product, even in any normal company, there's the research team is at least one or two versions already ahead, mm -hmm. right? Because you need to look at different directions. Well, yeah, so you do. You what do what are the things that you, you are a little bit now and then mm -hmm. looking uh, in, into the research right now that could be after Limit 2.0? Well, we are exploring quite a few things, right? Mm -hmm. um, although we still don't know exactly how what we want to do and in what order, right? What is more important to us. We are exploring for sure the privacy of mm -hmm. the chain. Uh, because we do know that we want more private uh, blockchain, right? It is important for payments and people don't want the balance uh, on a public place like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we are exploring that a lot. I think it will become more important to many crypto projects. I think yeah, more course. and more people become aware of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as you realize that, I mean, people don't want to have all the transactions and policies it's yeah, on the yeah. internet for yeah. anyone to see. That's right. uh, yeah, it's not great. So we are exploring that, we are also exploring, although it's really soon, but some type of more scripting, smart contracty type of technology. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Although they very early days though, because uh -huh. we do want to keep a simple blockchain, right? 
Yeah. But we also want to give a bit more flexibility than what we have now. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I think people in the community are happy to hear yeah. that. At least that we are exploring that direction and see yes, yes. how yeah. it can fit together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it. Even more uh, speculative, there is also some research going on, maybe in stable coins. Mm -hmm. um, but that is so far very speculative, yes. Mm -hmm. But we are researching that. Because again, for payments, Stable coins is the way, but man, it's right. Mm. That makes sense, right? Yeah. But even across the industry, stable coins are still you know, pretty early days. You only get those oh. like uh, tethers and USCC coins. Uh -huh. There is just someone with a bank account that has your money, and that's not, you know, there's not a proper cryptocurrency. So if currency. we would do a stable coin, it would need to be on the same standard that we do in general. Yes, yes. Decentralized. Yeah. Completely yeah. centralized, uh -huh. algorithmic. Uh, no one wants to have a bank account with, okay. with yes, money. Okay. Um, that's why it's also so early because oh, I guess. Okay. It, it is pretty much uh, you know, uh, state of the art cutting edge research. Oh, There's not okay. a lot out there that you can draw on. So it's not necessarily a question, oh, do we want stable coins or not? Of course, we would like to, but technically it's just if can, we can we do uh, it in, under our yes. conditions, right? That yeah, if we can do it right, putting, yeah. then no, probably yes, we do. Uh, but mm -hmm. if we can't do it right, then we'll just wait until we can. Yeah, <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. you know. That sounds, sounds great, yeah. yeah. Um, Anything else, Sebastian? You were sitting in the corner and uh, you're looking forward to cra scratching more bucks? Or, uh, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm still looking forward to squashing yes. more bucks, I guess. Yeah, uh -huh, for uh -huh. sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope I hope we get tested out soon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Can't make any promises, though. Uh, yeah. You never know how many bucks are waiting. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's the, about uh, each yeah. corner, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you basically, you unearth one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, and then you get it out and away, and yeah. then maybe there's something lurking beneath. You don't, you you don't really know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, a lot of times, it's actually quite exciting to start it up again and see if it now actually mm -hmm. just runs. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and that at least is a pretty good state to be in, right? So I'm I'm quite quite happy to be in a state where I can actually like fire everything up uh, and see if it performs how I want it to perform. Um, or how we wanted to perform rather mm. uh, instead of just like trying to fix something with which in the end does not make me uh, or enable me to actually run the client itself uh, mm -hmm. so that's actually also quite quite cool to do um, so it's a nice task I gotta say uh, all right it's challenging also I think. it is it is sometimes yeah. sometimes the bugs are like emotionally doing the roller coaster oh yeah bit. yeah sometimes <laughs> it, it can get quite frustrating if the bugs are like more of the elusive kind and uh -huh. um, it can be quite tricky to to actually <laughs> find out and then the fix probably is like changing a line of code or maybe two uh, but finding yeah. finding out that you actually had to have those changes in is uh, sometimes quite difficult in fact yeah. No, that, that's cool. I guess yeah. I'm happy you're, you're moving forward and uh, you get a lot of support by the team. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I think that's that's already it. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. I'm okay. very excited about well, the well. testnet and whatever will come. Yeah. Yes, thanks for having us. Soon is. Okay. Yeah. And now let's get some fresh air. It's yeah, hot. it is hot. <laughs> it is really hot, in fact. Okay. Summer's See you guys. Yeah. See you next Bye. time. See you guys.